Hello and welcome to Sock eTech. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys quick tips and tricks, some new features and some hidden features of the Android L operating system. So for people who are wondering what's new, this is the perfect video to get yourself acquainted with the Android L. So this is a Nexus 7 2013 edition tablet and it's running on this like a champion. All right, so let's uh, dive in and understand everything that's going on with this thing. And then, of course, uh, let's just show you guys that this is, in fact, Android L. So if you go into About Device, About Tablet, it's going to say Android version 5.0. And, of course, the model number is Nexus 7. And you can tap this guy a couple times, which is going to bring up a lollipop. Okay, so these colors are randomized. You can tap this. It's going to say lollipop. Tap it again. It's going to change the color. Tap it again. Change the color. Keep tapping it to change colors but that is in fact your Android Lollipop operating system. All right, so one of the really cool features in Android L is called screen pinning. So if you go into your multitasking view, which is the new view, by the way, it looks really nice. Uh, what happens is, let's say you want to give your tablet to a friend and your friend wants to look at the browser. Okay, so he wants to browse the internet, but you don't want him to go any other places such as your gallery. What you can do is when you tap in the multitasking view, you can bring Chrome to the front and then you can tap that tiny pin icon that is going to go ahead and pin that window to your display. So you're going to get this little pop-up right here and you can just simply start. On this pop-up, it also asks you if you want to use a pin number before you unpin the device or if you just want to use the two little shortcuts that are available. So let's do that really quick. So Google Chrome, pin click start so at this point your friend or who or whoever you gave uh, gave your tablet to is not going to be able to change windows or go anywhere else all he can do is he can play with Chrome as a standalone application I don't know about you guys but I really really like this feature because sometimes you give your tablet to somebody and the next thing they know they're all over the place looking at your private information instead of what you only wanted them to do. So when you are ready to unpin, all you do is you press and hold the back button and the multitasking button, and that's going to unpin the window. It's even going to say screen unpin. And then you can do this with every other app. You can do this with Flipboard. You can do this with Chrome, Gmail, or any app that you want to pin and keep standalone. And of course, to enable pinning, you do have to go into settings. So you pull down the notifications tab and you pull it down again to expose the settings button on the top. You tap that settings button. And when you go into security, you have to scroll all the way down and make sure screen pinning is actually enabled. Because if you have it disabled, obviously, you turn this off you're not going to see that option okay if you turn it on that option is going to be right there so let's uh, quickly inspect the notifications view so this is a brand new view and it's uh, based on Google's new design strategy which is which is called material design okay so when you pull this down the first thing that is going to pop up is your notifications alrighty and then you can individually slide a notification away obviously or you can tap that button here and that's going to kill all the notifications. Now what if you want to access quick toggles? All you do is you pull down forward and that is going to reveal a brand new menu that is going to show you quick toggles such as uh, turn Wi-Fi on or off, Bluetooth. Uh, you can also uh, set, set the orientation so you can uh, auto rotate the device or you can just keep it at portray and then you can turn on and off the location settings uh, airplane mode and then you can also use the cast screen button to cast your uh, Nexus screen to a TV that has Google Chrome attached to it and of course you get this cute little uh, brightness slider on the top okay so if you let it go it goes back to the notifications panel if you slide it around it's just gonna show the slider Okay, so let's keep it right here. And then the other thing that I, I like here is you get the settings button and you also get the battery view. So this is also clickable. So you can tap the battery view. It's going to take you to the battery usage meter. 
which basically gives you a nice graphical and numeric representation of how your battery is being used. It even gives you an approximate time that is left with the battery. So in my case, uh, I am charged at 92% and the approximately uh, 10 days are left for me to use this device based on how I have been using it so far, okay? So just because it says nine days left doesn't mean I can watch nine days of video. It just means uh, the way I have been using the device, it's going to take nine days for the battery to run out based on my usage statistics. And of course, you can refresh this anytime you want by tapping refresh, and that's going to get you up to date uh, stats. And then if you tap this guy, there is a battery saver mode, which you can tap, and that's going to allow you to enable the battery saver setting. Okay, so as you can see, there has been a slight change. So this is going to extend your battery life, and you can also have it uh, turn automatically at a certain point. So at 15%, 5% battery life, this can turn automatically or at 10% or never and of course you can do it manually over here and now let's take a, take a look at the lock screen really quick so if you unlock the device if you lock the device so let's press the power button turn it on you got settings so if you pull up it's gonna ask you to unlock your device by putting your password in okay but if you don't do that you can pull down and that gives you a quick notifications view and from here, you can individually swipe away notifications, or you can just tap that button, and that's going to kill all the not notifications at the same time. Now, you can also pull down the um, menu from here, the quick toggles, access to menu, battery settings. Now, obviously, if you do simple things like turning the Wi-Fi on or off, it, it, it is going to allow you, even if you have uh, security enabled, but if you want to go into settings, of course, you have to unlock the device. If you want to go into the battery meter, of course, you're going to have to unlock your device. And then this thing here, the, the blue icon, basically allows you to switch between different profiles that you have set for your device. So from here, again, if you go to more settings, it's going to ask you to unlock it. And the other thing in the lock screen, if you swipe to the left it brings up the camera okay and if you swipe to the right it simply unlocks your device if you have a password you top tap in the password or pattern or whatever it takes you in if you have no security it goes straight into your home page so let's do that right now swipe enter so it will take you straight to your home page from the lock screen now, another privacy concern is when you have your screen locked, people can turn on the device, and even though they don't know your PIN number to unlock the device, they're still able to see some notifications. So, of course, what you can do is you can go into settings, so pull down the menu, pull it down one more time to reveal the settings icon, tap it, okay? Go to sound and notification, tap that, and from here, you can allow the device to show only certain notifications when the device is in fact locked. So if you tap this guy, it's going to give you three options. Show all content, hide sensitive content, and do not show any content. So you can fully hide, partially hide, or not hide at all if you so desire. Okay, again, this is a very nice privacy tip for me. It's going to be very, very useful. And uh, one more thing, when you go into the settings, and when you go into security, right, and let's say you're actually setting up a PIN number, so let me put the one that I have right now, and let me turn it off. So let's uh, go back and set it up. Screen lock, uh, pick a PIN, press 0000, continue, 0000, continue, and what's going to happen is as you're setting up the PIN, it's going to ask you the same thing I showed you earlier how you want to handle the notifications on the lock screen. So you can hide them all, okay? You can only hide sensitive information or you can just show all your notifications right in the lock screen. So that's another way to get that set up as you're setting up your new PIN number. And the next tip is if you use the volume rocker on the side, right? This thing comes up and that allows you to change your volume up and down. So when this thing comes up, you can start using the on-screen touchscreen, or you can just use the sliders to take this up and down. But uh, what I want you guys to take a look at here is the new options that you get. 
So you get priority, you get home, uh, none, priority, and all. So what this means is you can actually prioritize notifications, alrighty? And then if you go into none, you're going to see no interruptions. There are going to be no alarms, no notifications at all. Your device is completely silent. If you go to priority, you can prioritize them uh, indefinitely or for an hour. So you can add hours by tapping this. You can prioritize certain notifications for three hours. And then you tap this settings icon, which is going to take you into the interruptions screen. And from here, you can individually tweak the prioritize settings. So for example, events and reminders and messages and calls are going to be prioritized so you will see them uh, but you're not going to see other useless stuff like app updates but you will see things like messages but then you can turn this off okay you can turn that off as well and then if you turn the messages on calls also comes off uh, on if you turn this off calls will be turned off as well okay and then you can tap this and you can pick individual people to block or show and another quick tip, if you go into the multitasking view, uh, the Google search bar is always there for some reason, okay? You may or you may not need it. It's always sitting here on the top anyway. It also shows up when you press and hold this and swipe up. So you're going to get the Google search. But when you go to multitasking view, of course, it is always there as well, okay? I just want to let you know this multitasking view is pretty fantastic so this is a Nexus 7 2013 edition so this is a pretty old device right but this thing runs very very smooth so switching between the apps is a breeze okay there is a uh, no lag at all even when you're going through the different screens when you're pulling these things down it's just so buttery smooth all right, so past the new design, the new material interface, and past the you know new features like the new notifications panel and the and the multitasking and perhaps app pinning, uh, if you go into settings, it's the good old Android. Okay, so if you go into any of these guys, let's just go to data usage. It's going to look just like the old Androids, but you do have the new design, obviously. So at the bottom, you've got that circle. See how that responds. To your swipes and then um, if you go into apps it's just gonna look like the old one again I do sense an extra sense of smoothness as I'm playing through the device all right all right so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.